Welcome to another episode of Vet Talk. I'm Brother Vince, and I'm an Army veteran. And today, man, we're going to talk about veteran benefits for spouses, dependents, survivors, and family caregivers. But before we get into that, please like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell. You can find more content from Vet Talk here on YouTube, Twitter, LinkedIn, Instagram, and Reddit for more content. And veterans who would love to share your stories or resource for veterans and non-veterans who would love to share your resource for veterans, please feel free to contact me ASAP. Now that we gotten all that out the way, let's get into it, man. So again, today we're going to talk about veteran benefits for spouses, dependents, survivors, and family caregivers. Because what I didn't know, because my wife is a veteran herself, I didn't realize that there were many entitlements and benefits for my spouse. And for my dependents, I did know about Chapter 35, which is the educational benefits but for survivors, I'm not a survivor. I don't, I'm not a survivor of a veteran, nor as somebody a survivor of me. So I didn't know nothing about that. And for family caregivers, I knew a little bit about it, but I didn't know much. So I just really want to kind of take y'all to VA.gov and show y'all what they're talking about so that you can go ahead and start looking through this information and start the process if you're a veteran who qualifies or a family member or a caregiver or a dependent. So it says, as a spouse or dependent of a veteran or service member, you may qualify for certain benefits like health care, life insurance, or money to help pay for school or training. As a survivor of a veteran or service member, you may qualify for added, um, added benefits, including help with burial costs and survivor's compensation. So this is pretty cool for those um, personnel out there who may have a family member who was a military member and they died. And you like, okay, where are we going to get the money from? Because we don't have many, uh, much information or things from this person. Here it is. They have the information right here on VA.gov and you can get the help that you need because they said they add bit, um, for added benefits, including help with burial costs and survivors pit compensation. Yes, they do have compensation for survivors. It says, how do I get help for a veteran who is in crisis on this page? They, they explain that to you. So what you do is you just click on there and they show you um, benefits for spouses, dependents, and survivors. They show you how to you click on this box. You can go to healthcare, click on this box, education and training, click on this box. You can go for um, employment, home loan programs and financial counseling, life insurance option claims, the beneficiary assistance. Then they have pre um, needed eligibility determination for burial and a VA national cemetery. Ben, um, burial benefits and memorial items, survivor's pension, compensation and survival, um, uh, surviving spouse and dependents, um, section. So right here, man, they have sections for each one of these things that, you know, here it is, you may be going through. It says support and service for veteran care. Um, so I can go through and kind of read what they're all about so that you can have a clear understanding of what they're about. So when it comes to health care, say find out if you may qualify for health care um, through our CHAMP VA program, the De uh, Department of Defense TRICARE program, or uh, one of our programs related to veteran service-connected disability. If you already have health care through VA, learn how to manage your health and benefits. And this right here is for spouses, dependent child, surviving spouses, surviving child education and training find out if you're eligible for help paying for school or job training through the survivor and dependents education assistance program also called chapter 35 or the marine gunnery sergeant john david fry scholarship and also learn about how a veteran may transfer their unused post 9-11 gi benefits to you for spouses dependent surviving spouses and surviving children man i said that all wrong but you get me it says employment um find out how to get free educational and career counseling if you're a dependent family member who is eligible for va education benefits for spouses for a spouse i don't know why i say spouses for spouse and dependent children it says home loan programs or financial counseling. Apply for a certified um, certification of eligibility, which is COE, for VA home loan program to build, to buy, as I said it incorrectly, repair or finance a home 
or if you're having trouble making mortgage payments on a VA back loan, get help to avoid foreclosure and keep your home for surviving spouses. So as I'm reading through this, I'm noticing they specifically give you a uh, um, clear description in bold black print right here of who these benefits are entitled to. So when you go through it, you can go look at the bottom. You see for surviving spouses and realize that these benefits only apply to those who are in this box or in the bold print, as I should say. It's a life insurance option claims and beneficiary assistance. Learn how to apply for family members, um, for family service member group life insurance, FSGLI coverage. Explore other coverage options and manage an existing policy. If you're the beneficiary of a veteran or service member's policy, find out how to get free financial advice and will preparation services for spouses, dependents, surviving spouses, spouse, and surviving children. Pre-need eligibility determination for burial in a, nas in a VA national cemetery. Apply in advance for eligibility to, to be buried in a VA National Cemetery. This can help you plan ahead to make the burial process easy for your family and then and their uh for your family in their time of need. For spouses, dependents, surviving spouse, surviving children. Ben um you see burial benefits and memorial items. Get step-by-step -step guidance on how to plan a burial in the VA National Cemetery or in the state or tribal government veteran cemetery. You can also apply for help paying for burial costs, required memorial items, and learn about bereavement, gr grief, counseling, and transitional support for surviving spouse, surviving child, surviving parent. Survivor's Pension. If you're the survivor of a spouse or children of a veteran within wartime service, find out if you're eligible for monthly pension benefits for surviving spouse, surviving child. Compensation for surviving spouse and dependents, DIC. If you're the surviving spouse, child, parent of a service member who died in the line of duty, or the survivor of a veteran who died from a service-related illness, injury or illness, find out how to apply for the tax-free monetary benefits for surviving spouse, surviving child, surviving parents. So right here, this that that's pretty cool because as a survivor, man, what I'm seeing is the benefits um, for you are not just a small amount, but there are a lot of different benefits out there for you. So please don't pass up on these opportunities to be taken care of because again, the VA has programs out there for you as a surviving spouse, child, and parent. It says support for uh, support and service for caregivers of veterans. The program of comprehensive assistance for family caregivers. Learn more about the eligibility of this program and how to apply. The program offers support service for family caregivers of eligible veterans who were seriously injured in a line of duty and meets other eligibility requirements. The program of general caregiver support. Find out how to get resource education and support available to caregivers of veterans from all eras. For this program, the veteran does not ha need to have a service connected condition for which the caregiver is needed and may have served during any era. We do not require a formal application for this program. And right here you can see for more benefits on um, or more assistance uh, programs that you can enroll, you know, your veteran into. And like I said, it's pretty cool that they have all these different things for, you know, um, for basically for um spouses, dependents, and survivors and family caregivers, man. So please, man, don't waste your time not looking. Take the time to look. Take the time to sit down. 
take the time to explore va.gov because this is a common theme and thing that I'm trying to get imprinted into your mind. When you have questions that you're seeking answer for, it's good that you may have someone like me and other people that may go through and explain a lot of these different things to you, but it's also beneficial for you as the veteran or the family member or the dependent um, to go and actually read up on all these things on va.gov and it would help you and bless your life tremendously, man, because there's a lot of information, like I said in the beginning, that Brother Vince really don't have too much information about because Brother Vince has been out of the process. but since I've started Vet Talk, I've taken the time out to go back, read, and find information that may be beneficial for you so that you're getting all of your entitlements or um, benefits that are out there for you. So, as always, good people, man, this has been another episode with your boy, Brother Vince from Vet Talk. Vet Talk out.